Are you PCSing to Naval Station Norfolk? If so, this video is for you. So let's get started. I'm Amy, I'm a local real estate agent and also local to the area. So if you are looking to purchase a home in the next nine or 90 days, make sure you get in touch with me so that I can help you make a smooth transition. I help people like you buy and sell homes every single day. So always feel free to reach out. My information is in the description below. I'm gonna be covering a couple of different things for you. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna show you the areas that you could live in and only have about a 30 minute commute to work. I'm also gonna show you places that you may need to go shopping and that's gonna include grocery shopping, clothes shopping, you name it. And of course, like any human being, you probably like to go and grab a bite to eat for lunch when you are at work during the week. So I'm also gonna cover some places that are within like a five to 10 minute drive from the base itself so that you can get yourself a bite to eat. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some information on why I think people tend to live in our area long-term and they also end up retiring from the military and staying here permanently. So stick around so I can let you know. So we are outside of the gate of Naval Station Norfolk. One of the things that's pretty unique to this particular Naval Station is that we have the commissary and the NEX off base. Also, the pass and ID office is located inside of the NEX. So if you need to have any of those things taken care of, you can actually not have to worry about going on the base in order to handle those things. So if you're trying to find a bite to eat when you are working over here at Naval Station Norfolk, you've got an abundance of places right here on Hampton Boulevard, just outside of the base to stop in and grab a bite to eat at, or maybe run some errands, drop some clothes off to get them, you know, altered or get any of your patches show, sewed on. Also here on Hampton Boulevard, you'll find the Navy housing office. So if you're looking to get on the housing wait list, this is definitely a spot you're gonna need to come by. And that's gonna be just over here on the right, uh, back behind the Navy Federal. So we are down in Virginia Beach at the ocean front today, just kind of getting a little bit of footage so that you guys can see what all Virginia Beach has to offer if you haven't been here. So at the end of the boardwalk, we've got a nice playground for the kiddos right on the beach. there's restrooms that are public restrooms so you don't have to worry about running all over the place and trying to find a place to go and naturally like any beach town we have hotel after hotel after hotel um, but once you get down to it there are plenty of different activities offered here in the area as well as a bunch of places to eat Waterman's is a fantastic place to go and have a nice orange crush. They hand make them and hand squeeze all their oranges there. And it's inevitable, we always have some type of construction going on in our area. Now the next restaurant that I wanna point out to you is Mahi's. They are delicious, great date night spot or just any night of the week. And then Chicks is another great place to stop and have some dinner. They actually have brunch. The other side of the restaurant is right on the ocean front, so you can enjoy the view while you eat. So we are creeping up on another restaurant that is definitely one to check out while you're here. Catch 31. Again, they have outdoor seating, which you are going to see in a moment on the right but they've got fire pits and all that kind of good stuff and this is just a, something that's inside of the hotel and you can see the Neptune statue there 
now from the other end of the boardwalk where we started with the playground to the Neptune statue is a two mile section of the beach. Just filled with all kinds of tourist shops and activities, restaurants, hotels, you name it. If you need entertainment, it is down here. We also have some rooftop bars that you should check out. We'll put the description in the information section below. It's a fancy mellow mushroom over here. And then as we continue on down the way here, we're gonna end up in front of the Cavalier Hotel. They have a couple different restaurants within, within the Cavalier. Um, they've got an outdoor bar area, which is always nice to go and check out. They also have a beach club that's across the street from it. And another restaurant on the inside. Now you'll see in front of us, there's a place called Orion's Roof. This is one of the other places that actually has a uh, rooftop dining. You can actually go up there and dine inside of an igloo and you can see across the street is the Cavalier. So we're actually down in the East Beach community in Norfolk right now. In this neighborhood, you can find single family homes and you can also find townhomes. but you're right off the shore drive, so you have really close access to Little Creek's amphibious base. And generally speaking, these townhouses are closer to 3,000 square foot, so they are not small. Most of the single family dwellings have like a little carriage house style garage in the back, so you actually drive down the alley to park your vehicles and walk in through your garage and most of them have a little apartment above. And we go back a little bit further into this next neighborhood, Bay Breeze Point, and we are officially in the waterfront portion of the neighborhood. Now we'll give you a little bit of a market update just to show you roughly what these home prices are currently. If you liked this video, go ahead, give us a like, follow us and subscribe for notifications. That way you'll be the first to know anything else there is to know about moving to the Virginia area.